There are pent up feelings as parents of schoolgirls abducted in April 2014 in Chibok, Bornu State, and Bring Back Our Girls campaigners return to the streets of Abuja and march to the presidential villa. It's been 640 days, or the tears and sorrow have not stopped. One of the parents of the girls fainted after the long walk but was rushed to a nearby medical facility for attention. They lamented their plight and the need for government to ensure the release of the girls. All what I want is not that hospital, all that I want, all that whatever. It's all what I want is my baby. If I have my baby, I have my happiness on If I have my baby, I have my joy. If I have my baby, I have my solution. I'm meaningless without my child. I want my child back in person. At about 11 a.m., they finally arrived at the banquet hall of the presidential villa and were received by the Minister of Women Affairs and other security chiefs. But parents of the abducted girls and the Bring Back Our Girls campaigners insist on meeting with the president. The president finally arrived, but journalists were barred from the meeting. Members of the Bring Back Our Girls group expressed their dissatisfaction with what they call the long stay of the girls in the hands of their captors. The matter of investigation of exactly what happened and led to the abduction of our Chibok girls is critical. A number of the members of that community are insisting that there are investigations that were not concluded by the previous administration in order to end on some of the things that happened before our Chibok girls were taken captive. While the nation's security agencies battle to rescue the abducted girls and ensure that the insurgency becomes a thing of the past, these Nigerians look forward to the days ahead and hope that soon they will see and embrace the abducted girls.